don't know, we might have to cut Steve Kerr's minutes. He's looking <laughs> a little fatigued there. Uh, TJ, do you agree with Steve Kerr's approach with Steph Curry? Absolutely not. Mm. You, you, he, he says he doesn't agree with it because he's the one distributing the minutes, so of course he agrees with what he's doing. <laughs> it, it just isn't working. True. And w you got the Rockets, they coming. Mm -hmm. One the game Rock back. The Rockets is like that team in a four by four. You had that anchor leg, the baton in here. You, ooh, you start hearing, they're coming. Yeah. And you sitting four minutes, the last four minutes of the third quarter, the first six minutes of the fourth quarter, that's 10 straight minutes. It, you want him in clutch time. Mm -hmm. Sit him a little more in the first half so that in the second half, he can give you a little more because if Steph Curry plays 36 minutes in that game, mm -hmm. They win. He says, oh, it won't make a difference. They lost by four. They probably win that game if he plays four more minutes because there's so many more possessions where the Timberwolves now have to play them differently with Steph on the court than they would when he's not on the court. Fair. And so he knows that Steph probably should play a little more. You don't make the playoffs? Yeah. He got nothing but time to rest. Mm. <laughs> he has nothing but time to rest. So me, I'm putting Curry at 35, 36 minutes every game down the stretch unless it's a back-to-back -back. because I need him because if we don't make this playing game he has nothing but time no. to heal his body shade shade our Warriors uh, a resident Warriors fan what you what do you think I mean it's a tough one I, I kind of agree with with Steve Kerr one thing I will say about this man with Steve Kerr when he talks I listen mm -hmm. right because he he's has that that right why is that he's proved it has he not yes, he has. has he not Right, so when I look at even the things that they, the players say about him, I look at a guy like um, Kaminga, who's a young, talented player that was up and down, and now he's grooving, and now he's rocking. But before that, Stam and Steve had a conversation, right? Now, some coaches when a young guy uh, wants to play, I've been here, you think I get the ball more? I remember playing with Andy Reid, Deshaun Jackson, Michael Vick, and all these guys, and, and Jeremy Macklin. I want the ball. I'm the best player for real. Let's, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. I was younger. Andy Reid said, hold up, man, hold, hold on, slow down for a second. Mike Vick is that guy, right? We just paid him a lot of money. Deshaun Jackson, you know what he does. Jerry Mack, first rounder. Your time's gonna come. And that was a, a, a hard conversation, but it was the right one. And was he not right? Was he not right? He was right. When my time came, you see what happened. All pro, 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 all decade, you name it. So when you have a you coach... Time is... The clock's ticking, <laughs> though. I mean, TJ's, have, TJ's right. Dude. I get it, but when you have a coach, right, you gotta trust him. Look at Clay Thompson. Well, he talked about it. I just seen an uh, uh, interview the other day, and I had my guy send it to me, where he was saying, like, Kerr sat me down and said, look, man, you a hell of a player, mm. right? The things you've done, we can't be the worst without you. We're going to need you, but we need you to be a better leader. We need these young guys that's playing that we need to play better for us to have success. We need you to have a better attitude because when you're down and, and you're in the dumps, the young boys follow that. Yeah. Things like that, a coach matters. So when you ask me, is it the right move to sit Steph a little bit longer? Yeah, because we're going to need Steph. Yeah. And another thing is, Let's be fair here. Steph been carrying the Warriors for a long, long time. Yeah. Mm. The, the brother need a break, yeah. right? If we have any <laughs> nah, chance, keep carrying us. Yeah. If we gonna have, if we gonna have any chance to be successful in the play-in and the playoffs, because mm. we are gonna make the play-in. Let's yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. We gonna need Steph to dominate. Yeah. And if you, you look, look at, listen, man. Yeah. You looking at me like that? Hey. And on this show, we make bets. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> if you want to bet right now, oh, here we go. I bet, bet you right now that they're not gonna make the play-in. They not gonna we'll make it. What better, little hundred dollars that the that the Warriors? Make the play in. I'll take that. How you gonna bet him hundred dollars and you be starting off with a thousand with me and Wait all that stuff? You just go. Y'all, y'all gamble. I don't gamble like that. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars yeah. that Look. the Warriors are going to make the play in. Who's gonna make the play in? The, 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 the Rockets. The Rockets. Jalen Green. Rockets? Let's go. It's Warriors. Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Green. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Fred, Fred, Fred Van Fleet. No, let's so, go. So the Warriors is gonna get into the play in for sure. One on, man. You just lost your hundred dollars. They gonna get there. <laughs> but they in the play in. And my man been playing 30 minutes all season. Hmm. So why are we mad at Steve Kerr? You carried us here. <laughs> you carried us to the play-in game, if that's what we're saying. So listen, man, I know when we get into the playoffs, I am going to need you to carry us and help us win, but we need to figure out what else we got, too, to help you, Thank Steph you. Curry. That's what I'm saying. Just like when you're getting blown out in a game, hey, all my starters, come on, let's see if some of these young boys show, some, show us some spark or something that they can play. Maybe we can get them in the rotation. Yeah. Or if you're up by a lot, the same thing. Start, let's see if some of these young boys can help. So even with Steph Curry playing a lot of minutes this year, the Warriors are the 10th seed. 
So if I'm looking at this like we have five games in seven days, man, I'm going to rest my star, and I'm going to make sure that if it comes down to one game mm -hmm. to get into the play-in, I'm going to make sure he's ready to play 40 minutes. So I agree with Kerr because me playing Steph and leaning on Steph all season long mm -hmm. has got me to the 10th seed. If the Rockets weren't coming. Are they not? This wouldn't be a conversation. <laughs> They're a no, game back. I know they They're a game back. back. They won 10 if, of the last 11. If yeah. they weren't coming, this wouldn't be a conversation. Oh, yeah. They are right. Pause. <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> They're right there. They're right there. I'm trying not to look at you. They're, <laughs> They're right there. Uh. And so you have to change. And like, you bring up, you know, oh, he was, Kuminga didn't like his playing time. I don't think he handled the Kuminga situation the correct way. Kuminga should have been playing. Mm. He should have been playing. It's all timing, though. And, and now that he's playing well, it's looked as, oh, he handled it the right way. How do we know Kuminga couldn't have been doing what he's doing now? We don't know that. Well, I've been I, I, We don't I, know I'm that. A, I'm a warrior nut, so I've been watching Kuminga, and he's talented, but it, you can see he's pressing. You know what I mean? I won't get more places. I'm, I'm trying hey, to every shot. Hey, so yeah. it takes time. When, I, when my playing time is inconsistent, I got to press, because I know I may not play the next game. Uh, hey, hey, Slick. So I got to impress the coach. Hey, hey, Slick, real quick, though. So, because, like, the whole thing about Steph Curry's minutes. Yeah. Now, they played the, the Pacers, right, and they lost. Yep. Now, Steph played the whole fourth quarter. Yep. And they still lost. That's what I'm yep. saying. So you are going to need some of these role players to, 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 to get some minutes yeah. and, 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 and make some, some contribute to the wins. We yeah. need y'all, too. In a tight game, just sit me the first four minutes of the yep. fourth quarter instead of the first six. But Those you, two but, minutes, but they, and, they and, and, and how, we, how we know Steph's health, though? Another thing like, about being at the ah, top line, you, you, don't, you, don't, I don't never, you don't never tell the, like, like, I might not tell the media everything because you have to report yeah. it, well, no. but, but Coach, but coach Reno, hey, Coach, hey, I, bro, did, I'm yeah. banged up. Hold on, if that's hold on. the case, he's handling it correctly. Okay, so if that's the case. I'm glad we we brought this up because he did miss five games after spring yes, he did. ankle, yes, and he's had ankle issues historically. And if you look, we have a full screen here. If you look at how he has played, how he played prior to the injury to where he is now, all of his numbers are down. His shooting is down. He's, he's only shooting 37% from uh, three-point range, 44% overall. Scoring is down. Assists are down. Turnovers are up. I believe that, first of all, that Steve Kerr has earned no, for right. all that he has done. Absolutely. Not only that he's won four championships, but he took a team that fell off the cliff for two years, and he built Andrew Wiggins into a player who could win a championship. He made Jordan Poole into a championship-level player. Like, he recreated a championship team and, and pulled all the strings and pushed all the buttons in order for them to win another one. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt in terms of how he's using Steph in general and how he's using all the pieces on this team. I don't know if they're good enough to, go, to, to be a factor in the postseason, but I They're have not. to believe that Steve is doing everything he can to get the most out of whatever this team is. And the heart of it for me is that their stars are not at the same level that they were. Mm -hmm. To James' yeah. point, like, Steph hasn't been Steph yeah. this entire season. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're seeing maybe at age 36, for his size, how great he has to be athletically to get his Working shot off. Hard. That it's just, he, he doesn't have the 6'8", mm. 270 pounds yeah. that LeBron has to lean on. Or, or yeah, all on. that. Yeah, yeah. So it may just be time is, is, is hitting, right? And that's not on Steve. That's just, I'm trying to make something and, out of and that, and something that's I where, don't have. And that's anymore. where I'm at. Like, we talk, we talk in minutes-wise, and, and that's where I'm at. When you play 40, when you play 35, when you play 37 minutes, whatever the amount of minutes that Warriors fans or whoever wanted him to play, yeah. we're the 10th seed. Yeah. Like, it hasn't been... I need to figure out some, some other stuff that I can do, maybe some other rotations that I can do. Maybe in the fourth quarter, okay, man, that rotation worked when I sat Curry. We said they only lost by four points, so it's not like they was just getting beat down. Yeah. Like, I'm trying... I need to see what else can work. I know if I need Steph Curry to play more minutes, he can. But if I can figure out a way to help him and be able to get some other guys to steal some minutes and rest him, I want to do that. Because at the end of the day, rested or not rested, we sitting at 10. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.